Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about the STM8 external interrupt controller. So before we get started, let's see how it will be uh, the final output. Here you can see we have STM8 blue pill microcontroller development board. The microcontroller this board contains is STM8S103 F3. The same code will be applicable to all STM8S series and here you can see a push button this push button is connected in a uh, the one terminal is connected to the positive and uh, the 10k pull down resistor is applied on the other terminal of the, this push button so in normal condition the negative is applied on the d2 pin d3 pin and on the port D2, uh, uh, the LED is connected. And the onboard built in LED is continuously blinking. And uh, on interrupt, when we push the button, the interrupt occurs and the interrupt will toggle this LED on D2 pin. So we press it on, we press again, it turns off. So that's the all procedure of the code that we are going to do in today's tutorial. So let's get started. In the reference manual, here you can see the external interrupt controller register EXTI underscore CR1. This is responsible for enabling or disabling the edges for the interrupts and the interrupt is available for whole port and the bit 7 and 6 is responsible for enabling or disabling uh, the uh, interrupt for port D and uh, bit 4 and 5 is responsible for port C bit 3 and 2 is responsible for port B and for port A 0 and 1 bit so if we write double zero on these two pins because we are dealing with port D so we write double zero it will detect falling edge and low level if we write zero one it will detect rising edge only but if we write one zero it will detect falling edge only and if we write double one it will detect rising and falling edge both uh, we are detecting the interrupt on 0, 01 mean rising edge only. So this is the interrupt that we are dealing with. Moving to the STVD, here is the code for our interrupt. If we move into the main file, here you can see first of all we included the IOSTM8S journal header file. We added a inbuilt LED which is connected on port B5. We created a, another bool variable for our own LED which we connected on the breadboard. This LED is connected on the pre port D2. The switch that we are reading is connected on port D3. So when we are dealing with the output, we are using the ODR register. But when we are dealing with the input, we are using IDR register of respective port. Here we created a dummy delay millisecond function. This delay function is uh, for uh, onboard LED blinking. If we move to the main function, here you can see first of all we write 00 to the clock divider register. This will make the internal oscillator uh, and on 16 megahertz. After that, we inline assembly instruction of SIM. This will stop all the interrupts. After that, we can configure uh, GPIOs and we uh, write one on GPIO DDR. It will make the port B5 as an output port D2 as an output as well. After that we write CR1 also second bit 1 it will make these two lines will make port D2 as an output for the LED. 
after that we turn the port D3 to 0. This will make port D3 as an input. After that if we write zero, uh, 1 to respective bit in CR2 register, it will enable the external interrupt on the respective bit. Once we are done with this, we write 1 and 0 in EXTI underscore CR1 register as we had just seen in the reference manual. Once we are done with our pin initializations, we write the inline assembly instruction RIM which will enable interrupts again. In while one loop, we are continuously blinking the LED which is onboard LED and we take 500 millisecond delay. And here you can see the interrupt handler EXTI3 IRQ handler. This name we had given and the FAR at the rate and FAR and at the rate interrupt. This is the syntax for the cosmic compiler. And at the rate for and at the rate inter interrupt is a syntax for cosmic compiler. And here we check if the switch is equal to 1, we toggle the LED. So here we make sure that switch 1 is equal to 1. So we are reading the positive edge. That's why we detect it. We make sure that the IDR pin, uh, IDR respective bit is 1. And if we move to the STM8 interrupt vector C file, here you can see we had declared the IRQ. Uh, we checked the IRQ number for port D handler. It is IRQ6 according to the data sheet of the microcontroller. We declared the interrupt just like this. And also we declared the interrupt like this. So here we mention uh, the prototype for this function is that this is an external variable. It means we had declared this function uh, definition in some other file. So main.c is the file where we, we write the definition of this function. So that's all for today's tutorial. Hope you had like that. And if you have any question, just leave in the comments. Thank you.